Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So, in the end of the last episode, or last episode, we were basically making alloys, weren't we? And I thought I couldn't put redstone into this because I was trying to do it from the import from the fluid, but I can by doing it directly. Anyway, into the fluid system here. So now I've got some redstone, destabilized redstone, and what else have we got in there that we couldn't get? Gold, nickel, that's fine liquid platinum we've got two different plates so we've got liquid shine molten shiny and multi platinum so and the silver as well i think there's two different types of silver anyway i also made this is actually jumping around because we're basically i've got things coming in and out all the time so what i want to do is just change that to by item name and now let's have a look for our dense plates you see, I'm, I finished making 128 of these dense plates in here. So that was actually a quest. So let's have a look. I forgot to do this last time, actually, but never mind. That's a quest. Now, I think that's stars line. Here we go. So where we get a sodium tank. So let's claim that and done that. Now, that will open up for us this one, IKEA in a box. And we get five cryogenic stabilizers for making an assembly machine. Now, the assembly machine we can do. The only problem is I need 32 blocks of dash, and I haven't got that yet because the the mine is still too low, and it's just doing subsurface rock and surface rock. Here it's getting cheese curd. Now, cheese curd is also useful. Let's take this cheese curd out of out of here, like that. And what we do with the cheese curd is we Let's go and fight those refractory bricks there. Those refractory things I got last time. Where have I put them to? Oh, I know. I put them into this chest here. I sorted it out between episodes and put them into here. So I've got 16 empty ones. So with these, let's go downstairs. And have a look what we can do with these. Again, it's the same thing here. If we put them into the magna, cru magna crucible here, we get resident ender. So that goes out here and of course that's going to fill this up what have we got in here now resident ender and it's coming in at 125 per cheese curd which is less than ender pearls half but it's still quite decent so we'll leave that to do its business i think 20. it'll make two and a half i think two and a half uh, resident things so now we've got this tank of so uh, sodium now sodium is also very 64 this was one of the important ingredients that we needed for, let's go back and put this over here. I think I need to do what with this one? I'm not 100% sure actually, I think I need to, we've got space anywhere, put it in here. So we basically need to get it into jars. And then sodium makes basically lapis lazuli, or is the important ingredient lapis lazuli. This one here, if you look for the uses of that, we can make sodium hydroxide. I'm not sure what the uses of that is. So look, if we've got any interesting, nope, nothing there we can do. It can make sodium bisulfate. And again, there's nothing that's interesting in there. It can also make sodium sulfate. So look, if we've got any Chemical synthesis basically is what we're looking for. Nope. Nosolite or nose light. That's an interesting name, isn't it? And again, we can't do anything with that. Soda light. Shape crafting. We're just not getting any recipes for here. Nope. And lazulite. This one is the important one for which we can synthesize into different bits and pieces so we can do blue orchids blue wool basically it's blue. it's a blue dye blue stained glass and of course lapis lazuli on blue carpet so it's a, in that sense it's quite important the next one along so have a look if there anything else that's useful is salt now salt i think yes maybe it's useful for cloud seed so it is a very useful component Shapeless crafting into or converter. 
there's no there's actually that's the only thing we can use with that one so that's okay um what have we got down here our guide another one i see no uses for okay there's quite a few of these which basically i think are sodium oxide which are of less use than you could think they are be nice to actually get rid of the recipes because they're just confusing me. Oops, I just pressed to escape. Let's go back again. Um, uses. It was the, the last page of this I think we're on. And roast chicken. <laughs> actually, that's quite a lot of sodium oxide. I'll bite. Did I just take this one? I can't remember if I checked this one or not. I'll just double check it anyway. Oh yeah, and then the last one's cooked chicken. We need 16 sodium. I wonder if that case we can decompose cooked chicken to get sodium. Let's have a look at the uses of that. You can cook it, obviously. Did I do right? I did the wrong one. So we can turn it into a can of food, which is fair enough. We can... Yeah, it's, n it's nowhere near as good. Look at this, you get one compared to 16 to make it. So there's really nothing else to do with sodium or roast chicken except for eat it. Right. So, now let's go and put these plates back. We don't need these plates on us at the moment. And let's see if there's any more quests that we can actually achieve or complete. I would like to see how many diamonds I've got. 304. The reason I'm thinking about this is if I go downstairs here and we look over here, this is never working every time I start up the game. And it seems to be broken here for some reason or other, and don't ask me why. As soon as you put it back in again, it starts to work. So that's basically, it's a mine camp bug, but there's plenty of bugs in mine camp, especially during the initialization of the codes and stuff. So the reason I'm thinking about that, I would like to get rid of, how many of these can we make? 33. It was easy enough. I can, the reason I did that is because I can always put them back again. It's no big deal. Get your nine back again. Let's have a look at the quests again. So, what this is all to do with? We don't. We've done the vibrant alloy. We've made the atomizer. And I'm looking at the one case cells. Actually, that was one case cells. This one. Think if it was possible to make one MK one chem storage. And you see, we got to make a lot of logic processes and different processes which is well that's just diamonds that's eight diamonds so a lot of diamonds basically to make one of these and then you've got fluix dust so I really wanted like a better way of making diamonds but i don't know what it is for the time being so um i forgot where i was and it also look how much power that uses 300 and almost 400 mil billion 400 million yeah 400 million rf for one one case storage wow it's outrageous just outrageous so anyway what i was kind of looking for was um what's it called the uh, bedrockium and we got to make a basically we got to make a bedrockium face plate block of bedrockium we basically have to make a bedrockium drum so that needs six and each one of these requires one block of diamonds unless we can get a block of bedrockium which we can get from the other way which is smelting octuple compressed cobblestone but since my cobblestone generation is not working very well i was thinking about doing it differently how much cobblestone have we got on the system here three thousand and I've actually made those. In fact, yeah, I've made those through doing uh, using them on the um, Ignis extruder. But that uses quite a lot of um, that uses a huge amount, in fact, of uh, water, even with it fully up upgraded as much as possible because we can't upgrade it everywhere. So we need that plus a fa plus a faceplate. Well, I think that's possibly too expensive at the moment. 
to get what we need. So let's just have a look at what the quest was there. So it's basically we'll get 10 experience plus a loot chest. Could be nice. Because we're at the stage of this one was also one 4K fluid storage cell, which could be also nice to have. Because that would give us some more storage for the fluids. Um, and the 1K for, well, the 4K fluid storage is just as horribly expensive as the other one. I think, let's have a look at what it was for doing it. That, let's just get rid of Bedrockium. And the fluid storage is this one. So it's basically a drum with a 1K storage cell. It will give us that. And the drum we have to make in the assembly machine with 32 blocks of iron and 8 blocks of lead. That's not such a problem. We've got to get this assembly machine recipe doing. We need this anyway to complete other quests. So what I'm going to do between episodes is go go to Mars and basically mine as much dash as I can. I don't know how much dash we've got in the system. But let's have a look how much dash we've got in here. So we've got three blocks and seven ingots. And to make the assembly machine here, we need 32 blocks and advanced circuits. Well, I will do. So basically, 32. So we need 64 electronic circuits. Uh, that's horrible. And a block of lithium to make one of these. So we need 32 of these. I just don't know whether I can have been bothered to do this, to be honest with you. It's really just too much. So I need a ways to basically. So you've got. Ah, here we have the metal cast. So this is 792, and this is 1296. And it gives you a little block of lithium. So that's the different types of ores. I suppose that. Or fluids. I suppose that sort of makes sense in a way. Hmm. Because that's what we were seeing on the other when I was making alloys last week. Anyway, I'm going to do prepare all of this stuff. Let's see if we can actually. Do we want to make any lithium? No, I'm not 100% sure. But we do need to make a whole load of circuits anyway. So let's have a look at. Uh, not circuits, printed circuits for this. So what we need to do. We need to basically automate all of this stuff over here. This is all automated. Well, I don't need this. is the, the fluid transposer here and this is the Ignis extruder, which is producing the cobblestone. It doesn't use up much lava, but does use up quite a lot of water. Even though I'm getting water from quite a cheap source. So here we've got our four inscribers. In fact, that one had lots of these I got. Speed, well, some of them, this one's got speed, uh, rather a lot of accelerators in it, so probably a bit unfair to put all of those in there. Let's just do it like this. Put one in each for the time being. That's got one in, and that one hasn't. But make them all here, so that's fine. So we ran out of redstone in that particular case for making these. So what do we need? We need silicon. Now that's the hard bit. Because silicon, basically, we need to take cobblestone, pulverize it to gravel, pulverize it to sand, and then we use the um, sag mill to convert that to silicon. And if we get a load of byproducts in the process, we get um, dust, gravel, of course, which we then pulverize. So I'm going to set up this to start with. So that sounds as though we need three. Sag mills, pulverizers, is that correct? Let's have a think. One from gravel, we need cobblestone, gravel, sand. No, we need two pulverizers. So let's make pulverizers. I won't have any in there, of course. Let's see what we do here. Pulverizer. Okay, so that's piston, copper gear, machine frame. Machine frames, tin gear, uh, iron and glass. Okay, let's get that ready first of all, tin. I don't think we can actually, let's just do that again. In fact, because I can sh think I can shift click this into place here. We're gonna make three. Well, we're gonna, I think we'll lose three anyway. We'll make three machine frames. I've got one already prepared, but that's relevant. 
So we've got three gaps we need glass. 99 glass and we need iron. 155, that'll be fine. And that'll make that. So we need copper. We've got some of the gears already made, that's good. I think there's a couple of gears, yes, yeah. Um, we need some red redstone. Really out of redstone, aren't I? We need um, copper, redstone, machine frame, and gold. I haven't got any gold ingots around. Let's just get a stack of those. Like that. So now we can make what we need to make. We need to make at least three of these things, don't we? So we need. One, two, three, and then we put into that got redstone. We get some redstone reception calls. They go through fairly fast. We want tin, glass, tin, uh, tin gears, and iron. That'll make the machine frames like that. Well, this is actually quite a heavy one, I think. Well, sixteen million. It's not too bad. As it as it runs through here. And then we need the redstone reception calls, machine frames. You see, I've got eight iron holes after all. I don't know how much of a work it took to get one. I don't think we need that. I think we need copper gears, machine frames, and redstone reception calls. Oh, I'm missing something. What do we need for the pulverizer? Oh, pistons and flint. Well, I don't think I've got any flint here, but I've got flint elsewhere. Flint elsewhere, that's all. Oh, we have. Pistons. We only need one of each. Three. I'm only going to make two as it happens. So we'll shove those into there like that. And we'll take, put those into there. And then we should be able to make our pulverizers. Two pulverizers. That'll go very fast. So we've now got two pulverizers and some machine frames. We'll take the holes out of there. We need 64 of these to actually do the quest, by the way. That's just a massive amount. And we also need a sag mill. Now, if I remember right, that's a machine chassis, and I don't know whether or not I can... There it is. Three flints. Okay, so that's 30 iron, 5 redstone, and lots of redstone that is, and 1 dashing gun. Let's go and get those. One ingot. We need 5 of these. I really am running out of this dreadfully. But I have actually been preparing stuff to help with that one. And iron. Oh, that's jumping around. <laughs> Irritating. Let's just do shift click on that before I go anywhere else. Put those into there like that. So dash and redstone should produce a signal. What have I got in here that I don't want to see that's giving me confusion? There we are. That's what we need. Oh, actually. Look at the uses of this thing. Is it all crafting? Yeah, it's all crafting. Okay, so we can basically empty empty this out of, out of everything we've got in here because we don't need any more of these I don't think so now we can do a stack mill just by shift clicking it in I reckon fantastic so we got one pulverizer oh I needed more than one pulverizer didn't I don't need these take that piston with me I needed two pulverizers and I've only made one hmm 
I thought I made two pulverizers, never mind. So the recipe for that was gears, two copper gears, redstone reception coil, machine frame, one piston and what was the other thing we need? Oh I'm not sure a piston was needed actually. Um have a look. And two flints. There we go. One pulverizer. I will need to upgrade these, definitely. Let's come into this chest here and see what we've got that we actually could use. No, nope. let's come over here and get rid of the stuff that we're not going to use. So we're not going to use the glut, any of these items, basically, because they're all components of other bits. And time plates we'll put in there. And the iron holes we'll put in there as well. So that's, we don't need the machine frame. We will take these with us. Basically, these are different our pipes. We've got some more of that, and we've got some cable. And I've made some more conduit uh, item conduit. You see, I've got another machine frame in here. Let's go and put that over here as well. I think I take it out when it's when it gets full, and I can't put anything else into here. So. Now my thoughts are, if we do this over here, I'll probably move everything around a bit. So I'm going to start around about here. I think I'll remove these two, get them out of the way. And then we'll start here. So basically what we want to feed into here is cobblestone. So to make cobblestone, we need this block over here. Come over here. Move this while we're at it. So cobblestone is a combination of water and lava. Now lava, I'm going to have to. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about lava because lava is really here, isn't it? This is my lava production, and this is fairly full. And I think it's going to be nearly always full as it happens. Yeah, that's not got. That's not full. Oops. Why did I press there? Anyway, we'll find a way to bring lava in. So we'll put it at the end here. So we'll start with the, um, where's it gone to? The Ignis Extruder. Pulverizer? I wonder if it's been taken in the hopper here. Shouldn't have done, but it got picked up somehow like that, didn't it? So we can feed, feed two faces of this. So we can feed the top face with water or something like that and then this the side face with uh, side face with uh, lava and then we can feed this out so we can feed this out then into a pulverizer I think I can put them side by side let's just try it like this and then it'll end up in a sack mill here so let's see if we can actually connect all of this stuff up and get it to work a bit. So what I'm hoping for is I'll shift click this. I want this to be the output and this to be an input like that. Okay, let's go and get some lava. I think I have a lava tank over here. Nope. I don't see a lava tank in there, but there we are. That's the wrong place anyway. I'm, I was just being distracted by some noises outside. Noisy builders. Um, here we got a tank here. Let's fill this tank up with lava. Have we got some oh, lava I haven't got in there at the moment? So we can fill it up from downstairs. I might even have a second tank actually. Nope. So all I need to do with the lava is put this down somewhere like that. And it'll fill up fairly quick, quickly as it's just done. So we can put that down there like that. So next thing, we want to get the, the water going. So we can basically then bring... Let's put onto this. What have we got here? Import buses, export buses. 
So we'll put an export bus on the top here like this. Okay, and then we'll put beside this here the tank, like that. So then, this can, it might pull from the side, no it's not. Okay, so maybe we have to push this from this configuration here. Push it, and that's working. So that's going to push lava into here. In fact, we've got enough for two buckets of lava. I mean, two things of lava. So what we can now do is I'm going to remove this cable from here and put it where I like it to be. Because at the moment it's a bit of an ugly place. It's nicer if it all joins up through here, wouldn't it? So let's put that down here. Hopefully I've got enough cable and stuff. Oh, I haven't got a bucket of water with me. Shame. Let's go and get a bucket of water because we do need this to work. Water. Let's put one of those in there. So we've got that bucket of water for the filter. This tank's already emptied, look. Like that. So that's then going to... It should receive water from here. It might take a few seconds. Uh, fluid import bus. How did I pick up a fluid import bus? I thought I picked up extra fluid export bus. Import. Ah, okay. Sorry, I think I just did that wrong. So let's take this. And just take remove that from there. Put down the export bus here. That's probably better. Actually, that looks better, doesn't it? It's got the arrow on it. So now we can see we've got both. Where's my bucket gone to? Ah, yeah. So now we're making cobblestone. So hopefully we can push this cobblestone out of here directly. So that's on the right hand side. We should be able to actually. Let's shift click this and make this an input. Sorry, try that again. An input. It's got no power, but it has got the cobblestone in. Great. Of course it's got no power, we haven't got any power cables driving going across there yet. So let's just take some power cables. I've got more than that upstairs, I've got a whole set of those. Let's go and get those. 50. It would be nice to actually do everything underneath, wouldn't it? Maybe... Just jump up here. Huh. Like that. It doesn't need power. The ignition extruder obviously doesn't need power. But this is now getting that. And that's now starting to, to compress that there to do gravel. Now we only really want to have gravel coming into this next machine, don't we? I'm just thinking how we can do that. I have an idea. Let's get an import bus on the top of this here. A standard, that's export import buses. I don't actually have that many import buses with me, which is a shame. But let's put that on that top of that machine and drag the cable to the next one. So what we're basically going to get out of here is we're going to get two things, aren't we? We're going to get sand and gravel. So if we say, and hey, we are going to only import s sand, and therefore we can change the color of this so are oh, the secondary product of course yes there so the secondary product will get taken this way and on this side we can say that we want the red ones to go that's perfect see so then they can come into here like that so we'll shift click that and then the input comes on this side here well you can do the same thing we're going to get dust as a secondary item which we don't really want so we want the output of this here to go that way which is fantastic and then on the top we want the we want the yellow 
to go on the top. So dust will come out here like that. And then we can basically put another input bus on the top. So let's go and get one of those. I was wondering why this, uh, I could hear so many mobs. Now I might have another input bus in here too. Fantastic, I didn't see them before. I should have got a load of junk in there as well. That's because the A2 system is full. I had to find a way of sorting it out. Like that. So we can put this uh, import bus on here. And then we can take this next one along here like that. And then it doesn't actually matter what comes into here, does it? It just automatically get put out. Can't put these into here, unfortunately. But I can put the sand in here, can't I? Fantastic. And we're getting our silicon out of here. And I think that's the only thing we can get from sand. I should, should check that, shouldn't I? Let me just see if we've got some recipes on here. Recipes. So the one we're interested in is 59 pages. It's the one we're interested in is sand. So let's quickly go and see if we can see sand. I've gone past it. Always difficult to know, isn't it, when, when you're doing this fast? Very easy to miss some of these things. I missed it for certain. Be looking for silicon, shouldn't I? If I was doing clay, I'd get a chance of silicon. Come on, I know that you're there, but it is quite late on. Okay, I'm doing wasting my time doing this. Let's just go back here and look at sand. Let's look at the uses for sand. Shapeless crafting, not interested. Sagmills and what we want. Oh, sorry. Yeah, segment, not pulverizer. Gosh. Yeah, and the, so the only chance is silicon, and we get a 50% chance of that. Fantastic. But I could also put some flints in here. And that would give me a higher chance of getting... I think that gives me a higher chance. Anyway, so here we get our silicon. So we can now take our silicon and then feed that into one of these routers. Now I've got, I think I could do this quite easily nicely. So what I'm going to do, uh, does that not pick up with the, to use this one, yeah. What I'm going to do here is pick up these four. They should be configured even when I pick them up. Remove this. And maybe the, oops, too many. Like that. And then come round here and pick up whatever we've left in here. Uh, one advanced AE2 stuff and advanced inscriber. So now we can put down the router here. So, what I'd like to do is to put the router down here, and I think I should be able to push the on the outside here this out into the router like that. Oh. So the router's now got 29, so that's working just fine. So what I want is it to be configured to slot mode. And the slot we're actually putting it into is slot one, I think is the right slot. So we'll just put these down now. We can actually put everything connecting to here. That's a second router, I don't want that. I want the advanced. Like that, and I saw this one flashing. What's that got? calculation press engineering now that's the, probably the one I don't want in there let's just remove this one put this one down here and that's the one that's going to give me the printer silicon complex great so I can put this one I can put another router down now here and I think I'm not 100% sure about this I'd like to put this one down here like that and then put this at the end of it. And then we can bring this there. 
Send me cable all the way along here. Like that. And that, of course, will give power to these machines, which you'll need anyway. So that's coming out here. And I'm hoping I can bring everything in. Currently, the mode is in the output mode. What else if I do input mode? Slot 1, machine filter, the advanced transcriber. Okay, I didn't set that up over here. Let's make sure that we've got the machine filter is also set to the advanced transcriber. It is like that. Bandwidth upgrade redstone, don't care about those so much. Slot. Now we should be able to put an export bus on the top of this. Because what we would like to export into this, of course, are things like redstone, diamonds, whatever else. But I'm not 100% sure, looking at this, whether I'm doing this correctly. That's not slot 4, is it? I think that's slot 0, 1, 2, 3. Let's just have a look. Indeed it is. So that's pulled in those, like that. And we should be able to push that into here. Uh, maybe not actually. I'm not 100% sure how to do that. Maybe I have to put an export bus onto this like this. An import bus on top of it. So then it would import everything out of here. Indeed it's working. So it is actually importing the stuff out into the AE2 system. So therefore I'd put have to put an export bus on this thing here. Hmm. Tricky, huh? So I'm gonna to have to play with this a bit. And I'll do that over the over the weekend, because it's the weekend coming up now. And I'll show I'll do it like this one. And I'll see you next time when hopefully we'll complete this project of automating the presses. So until then, bye for now.